Hello, my name is Brenda Grisafi. I am a paramedic for St. Tammy Fire District 11 and we are going to talk about our emergency medical services here in Pearl River. There are three fire districts in St. Tammany Parish that offers emergency medical services and we happen to be one of them. Here at Fire District 11, we are able to provide advanced medical life support services, which includes being able to administer medications, treating any major life-threatening situation, and also cardiac care. So we're gonna do a quick tour of our ambulance, starting with the cab portion of our ambulance. This is the cab. This is our tablet where we get all the information from dispatch concerning the call. Our lights and sirens are controlled on this console and this is our radio where we are able to communicate with dispatch. We can also do reports on this tablet and we get any vital information that we need concerning the call. This is one of our compartments here. We have a stair chair. This ch chair is what we use to be able to get patients out of like tight situations like narrow hallways and that where a stretcher does not fit. Uh, patients are secured on here and we can roll them downstairs as well. Our next compartment here is the BLS compartment. This is our what we call a trauma bag. It has basic trauma um, bandaging, splints, anything like that nature for traumas. This is also our C collar bag. This is what we use in when people get into traffic accidents, we place collars on the patients. It also has the, um, the stabilizer to be able to um, secure them to the spine board. This here are, is our stuffed animals for our little patients. These are also where our binder lifts. These are um, lifts that we're able to use to be able to assist the patient up off the floor. It wraps around the patient like a vest, secures the patient, and we are able to pick this patient up off the floor without injuring our backs. So in this next compartment, we have our spine boards and a scoop stretcher. Spine boards are for our Major traffic accidents, we place the patient on there to secure the spinal area. This is also a scoop stretcher. This assists us in picking up the patient off the floor, any type of patient with any type of hip injury, this, this works very well. Also, people that can't tolerate the straightness of the spine board, we will use this as well. So this is our next compartment that shows our firefighter gear. Since we are firefighters as well, this is a gear we will use on any fire scene. Another one of our compartments that we use, this has anything that we will use. It has bolt cutters, anything for fire scenes, fire tape. We also have um, pipe wrenches to open up hydrants. And we also have a lockout kit to help anybody that's in need of getting into their vehicles if there is a trapped kid or animal in it. Our last compartment here has some other things that um, are usable. This is a tarp where we can, if somebody's on the floor that we can't get to with a stretcher, we can take this tarp and put it under the patient and carry them out. Some spider straps to secure the patient to the spine board. Flashlights, um, hard helmets, um, landing zone lights we use when we activate the helicopters, the life light. We use these to spot the place for the helicopter to land, a short board, and this is called a portable stretcher. In case we run out of um, stretcher, we have multiple patients, this will come in handy. Okay, so now let's take a look on the inside of the patient compartment. This is our patient compartment. This is where we keep anything that we need to use for patient care. Stretcher, an ALS bag that has our medi some medications in it. This is our EKG monitor. Um, all our supplies and equipment that we may need. This is our airway cabinet, non-rebreathers, nasal cannulas, intubation. This is our bandaging compartment. It has anything we need to do to bandage or splint a patient. Also has burn sheets, splints, 
This is our, we call it hazmat cabinet. It has um, some hazmat um, protection. This is our gloves. It has the a PD mate which secures a child onto the stretcher. It also has um, our N95 mask and any gowns that we might need. Here are our IV supplies. These are our IV fluids that we may use or we may need. This is the IV sets that we will use in conjunction with the fluids to connect fluids to the patient. <clears throat> also here is our IV station. This is called the action area. This is where we get all our IV supplies that we need to use to put IVs in patients. <clears throat> Electrodes for the monitor. And then we have here MSS bags for anybody that is sick, our BP cuff, thermometers, and anything else we might need extra.